was brutal. Welcome back to Cinema Rules. And today we're watching a film that I want to see, that I want to see. Uh, all right then. All but right. I've already seen it. Oh, but I haven't. Minutes. Because I've seen the theatrical release of this film. We're watching the director's cut, which actually adds 50 minutes and apparently completely... So, so wait, 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 wait. We have been struggling to uh, to find time to watch uh, over three hour movie. And you're saying, you're telling me that we don't even, we don't, we've chosen <laughs> a three hour cut of this movie that when it could be a two hour cut. Well, um, yes. <laughs> the reason I've done this is because the theatrical cut gets sort of bashed, all okay. right? But people say the director's cut is one of the best films that he's made. A director we've seen before who's also known for... Kingdom of Heaven. For director's cuts. Ah, Ridley So Ridley Scott, Scott he's known for like wanting to make his films. What happened with this film is the studio really pushed for him to like rip it out and make a shorter film. Yeah. And he wanted to make it a little bit longer, like Gladiator style, I guess. Now, I've seen the theatrical version. version. I think it's insanely good okay um and i think it gets unfairly bashed it's interesting because it, despite it being such a well-known director ridley scott is starring orlando bloom i know nothing about this film oh, I'm i've so never glad. seen i don't even I'm think so i've glad. seen anything of it i won't like, tell you anything but, about it but everything from like the cinematography to the to the action and to the like soundtrack i just absolutely love i think it rivals gladiator but you'll have to be the judge really? of that. yeah there's an actor that's in this film that isn't credited because he wanted to remain anonymous. So I'll try and get you to guess who it is. When I we bet it's there. Matt Damon. No. <laughs> Cinema rules. And we are watching Ridley Scott's Kingdom of Heaven, the director's cut. I have ears, Father. And I want ears notched because I love justice. Oh, you love that bit was an extended scene. <laughs> I'm going to say it every time. Don't. Please don't. Wait. You've forgotten. She was your brother's wife. She was a suicide. Cut off her head. Oh. Oh. In the original film, you don't know that they're brothers. So they add to this. Right. You just ruined it. Find, you find oh, it out. You find out. Yeah, but why are you, you saying find that? You find it out. <laughs> my brother, my Lord Bishop, uh, is possessed by the devil. Possessed by the devil. So he's going insane. Madman. Burn them anybody, all! Anybody, <laughs> anybody that's just mad from... Grief, they could be like, yeah, yeah, yeah the devil's got him. She's preggers. Aww. That was a cool transition. So that was his wife that killed her. Her grave was here. Or was it there? I'm afraid I can't tell you the exact location. What a dick. dick. <laughs> Same thought. I knew your mother to be courteous. I should say that it was against her objections. But I was the Lord's brother, and she had no choice. But I did not force her. I have forgiveness to ask of you. It's a bit of a uh, revelation for her. Stop! I am Godfrey, the Baron of Ibel. I have 100 men at arms in Jerusalem. If you will come with me, you will have a living, and will have my thanks. There it is. My place is here. Very abrupt and just almost take emotion. it or leave it. <laughs> yeah, almost like an emotionless time in a way. Wasn't he a blacksmith in parts of the Caribbean as well? Typecast, mate. <laughs> if you take the crusade, you may relieve your wife's position in hell. Oh, what she does there without a head. Ooh, kill him. Oh my god! Isn't he a priest as well? Oh, look at that burn, Mike. Isn't he a he priest? He was a priest, yeah. yeah. So he's, he's in for it now, isn't he? Yeah. He's done it now. But I mean, murdering a priest, that's like, he's just completely sinned. Who's now. also your brother? <laughs> Father and son, road trip! <laughs> Is it true that in Jerusalem I can erase my sins and those of my wife? Is it true? We can find out together. And now they have a personal goal. Bond or goal, yeah. Goal that gives them a reason to fight in Jerusalem. I once fought two days with an arrow through my testicle. <sighs> once fought two, fought two days with an arrow through my testicle. You fight well. Let's work on your skills. Playing catch with Dad. <laughs> Didn't he train Batman like this as well? <laughs> yeah. 
Oh. What happened there? You have with your man, Balian, who killed the priest, his brother. I'm charged for both my father and the Lord Bishop to bring him back. Oh, oh my god. Crossbow is a brute. Oh. oh! They're just murdering all of them. Oh my god! Oh, he's still alive! With an arrow in their neck! Jesus! Boromir! <laughs> <laughs> Son of Roger de Cormier. No one gives a sh. <laughs> I am accorded the privilege of ransom. Well, you'd be like, you just tried to kill us. <laughs> Whatever your position, you are of my house. And that means you will serve the king of Jerusalem. What could a king ask of a man like me? A better world than has ever been seen. The kingdom of heaven. Oh! Name drop. When the king is dead, Jerusalem will be no place for friends of Muslims or traitors to Christendom, like your father. I am Guy de Lusignan. Remember that name. I'll call you L'Oreal. What's going on here? Yeah, but it doesn't look good, does it? How anyone survived in this time period, I have yeah, no idea. They didn't know, did they? No. Without fear in the face of your enemies, be brave and upright that God may love thee. Speak the truth, always, even if it leads to your death. Safeguard the helpless, and do no wrong. That is your oath. And that's so you remember it. What the hell, man? Rise, the knight, and baron of Ebelin. Oh, so he's like inheriting his... Anointed, yeah. Inheriting his... Position. Defend the king. If the king is no more, protect the people. William is dead. It's so annoying when you've got a good actor like that that's only in it for a little bit. Unless he comes back as a force ghost. <laughs> is he the only survivor? Everyone on that boat. Is he the only one? What a cool inky dink. <laughs> Very um, sudden, this, this event that's just happened yeah. now that he's just. His father died and then he's just crashed the boat suddenly. Wait, the horse survived, but no other Hell person. Yeah. W him and just one horse. See her. What a cool <laughs> thing. Wait, what a. Hello. <laughs> Fancy seeing you here. <laughs> he says that is his horse. I took this horse from the sea. I'm the Kadavulmeyer. And he will fight you because you are a liar. I have no desire to fight. Then you must give him the horse. <laughs> <laughs> No. Oh. You have taken it very well that I have killed your master. It was the end of his time. It's all sudden. You know, I learned sword fighting uh, in Cro Croatia on top of a castle that featured in Game of Thrones. And oh, the King's Landing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Also did uh, Take me to Jerusalem. Uh, archery on top as well in Sunset. CGI is pretty decent, isn't it? For 2005, it's epic, isn't yeah. it? Take the horse. I have been a slave. Or very near to one. I will never keep one nor suffer any to be kept. Go. Good guy, Orlando. He just wants to be noticed with that sword on his back. <laughs> yeah, he? yeah, he's just begging to people to jump here. Since you carry Godfrey's sword, you must have known him. Yes. And green eyes. Blue. Could you really remember some of these eyes? I don't, I don't know who you are. Yeah. Man, when France held a house, he was the holy land and master of the city. I think the the extra hour that he adds on is just montages. <laughs> no, so just like fading yeah, in and then fading they've added, out. They've added a lot of uh, scenic shots that add like contemplation to his character, but they've added Ooh. they added a lot of the beginning in France. If you happen to see Balian, the son of Godfrey, tell him that Sibylla called. <laughs> it's it's me. <laughs> God does not speak to me, not even on the hill where Christ died. I've lost my religion. What God desires is here and here. And what you decide to do every day, you will be a good man. He's basically saying God's within him uh, yeah. and within his own choices and what yeah. he deems are right and wrong. These men are Templars. They killed Arabs. Those Templars have been hung for a raid that I know you commanded. Prove it. 
I will wait at Karak. He has blonde ginger and white grey hair. <laughs> the Princess Sibylla of Jerusalem and her husband, Guy de Lusignan. Oh, it's that guy. Oh, God. L'Oreal. <laughs> so, how many nights did you find in gonna, the You're gonna get on with it? You sit at my table. You sit it's at my table. Is it? I have not seen a king yeah. at it for some years. My wife does not lament at my absence. That is either the best of wives. She hates him. Yeah, she can't stand him. She's like, oh, get off me. The king would see Godfrey's son. I'll take him. I bet you will. <laughs> <laughs> that I am a leper. The king of Jerusalem is a leper. As wretched as I am, the chastisement that awaits Who's the actor. I know that voice. Who is the actor? This is the one I was mentioning. Is, this, is that Edward Norton? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> good, good yeah. shout, mate. You will go to your father's house at Evelyn, your house now, and then from there you will protect the Pilgrim Road. I just inheriting all of this stuff that you never even knew, like, yeah. before. And he sits on this horse like he's like a badass, like, yeah, I worked for this. Like, no, you didn't. <laughs> you just got handed it. On a platter. What we do not have is water. Are they digging for it? He's more humble, yeah, he's more humble, isn't he? Because yeah. he's doing the work as well. Yeah. Yeah, it's getting wetter. After one day of being here, I've he's just made discovered it a place water. Already. <laughs> <laughs> Georgie? <laughs> I expect your hospitality. It is given. Alright. She loves him. Will she will well, she would if she would if she's with that utter L'Oreal guy. guy. This isn't adultery. But this is the commandments are not for people like us. Just be careful the others. Did they give you something to eat? That's a bit pretentious, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Shows you a lot about people in power and how they yeah. perceive themselves yeah, as, exactly. as better than others. What? It seems years since I've seen a woman eat. What? A bit weird, isn't it? You know, I'm gonna say that when I go on a date. <laughs> I'm just like, and they will be like, what? It's been years since I've seen a woman eat. Look <laughs> how much the landscape's changed. Yeah. Woo! This is the moment they get on Tom. Or is he gonna get attacked? Oh, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't expect oh, him to damn. get with her. No, I thought he would have held to his principles or something. Yeah, that's the whole point of the movie, isn't it? But isn't the whole point that that religion and its all its constructs aren't what makes somebody a a godly, pious person? Go after them. The rider is getting away. So they're going out and just killing Muslims, say. aren't they? Rock they could just say God wills it to anything. Literally anything. <laughs> oh! That was brutal. Reynold, with the Templars, have broken the King's pleasure of peace. We must not go to war with Saladin, and we may not win it. Blasphemy! Blasphemy! Oh, Blasphemy! Okay. Just by saying you might not win is saying yeah. that God isn't on your side. There must be war. God wills it! I need a poo. God knows it. <laughs> I will lead the army. My lord, if you travel, you'll die. Send word to Balian to protect the villagers. Oh, God. Assemble the army. <laughs> My lord, the king is marching on Kerak. <laughs> we'll hold the Saracen cavalry until the king arrives. Imagine riding to certain death. I think in the moment you'll be like, f*** it. <laughs> and just be like, they be like, yeah. There's too many of them. Like the whole, the whole army could could literally just go like that in the initial charge. It's only his men though. The the other guys yeah. just kept all his in the castle, haven't they? You would attack your own men and stuff, wouldn't you? And you'd get so like confused and, and, and on edge and just reacting. Who is it? Your quality will be known among your enemies before ever you meet them, my friend. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I thought it was. Because we didn't kill him. Look at the bloody armor he's got on. 
Oh. Is that theirs as well? Yeah. Jesus. Oh my oh god. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Is that another army? Tell my lord Salahdin, the Jerusalem has come. Yep. And with the uh, the king, which side does he take? <laughs> <laughs> He's not going to join the Saracens. <laughs> What? No, I got. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let, let me just take my gloves off. Uh, nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> Reynaud of Chatillon will be punished. His eyes look horrible. I swear it. Withdrawal, we will all die here. We have to. Oh. I am Jerusalem. And you, Reynaud, will give me the kiss of peace. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Reynaud of Chatillon. You are arrested and condemned. Oh no. L'Oreal expert. <laughs> because you're worth it. He Not him, hates though. him, does he? I know, Jesus. This is when your mum walks in and you're just like, oh, I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> the you sometimes dream you are my wife. Let's pretend you. What the hell? We need to establish that he was even worse than he, than he was. Yeah, but Orlando Bloom did it first, so... Yeah. I hate him more. <laughs> Your lover has a hundred knights and the love of the king. I, the largest force in the kingdom, and the support of the Templars. So that's why he's been offered to the sister, because he has the biggest kingdom. Uh, biggest but uh, also, army. If, he, if something happens to that kid, he will be in charge, won't he? Yeah. You need my knight, or his rule will be bloody and brief. You need me to marry you because if not, I'm going home and you won't have the army you need. Biggest form of blackmail. <laughs> the time has come to conclude my affairs. If I leave the army with Guy, he will take power through my sister and make war on the Muslims. We have decided that you shall take command of the army of Jerusalem. Would you marry my sister Sibylla? Were she free of Guy de Lusignan? And Guy, he will be executed. Oh. I cannot be the cause of that. Uh, Whatever you ask. Do you stand by your principles even though you know it's probably going to be your downfall? Yeah. That's what his father said to him though when he was dying. He was yeah. like, would you marry her and screw principles? Well, that's the thing. Like, she's literally the complete opposite to him. She just craves power. But I think she also fears the other guy as well and fears losing her power. And oh, yeah, definitely. But she's like, she's on the cusp of like, being power driven. There'll be a day when you will wish you had done a little evil to do a greater good. It's an interesting line. Interesting thought provoking line. Do you really think the king, once you're head of the army, once he's gone? Balium, you must beware a popular man. Kill him. Kill him. Oh, kill him. Gee! He just sparks it with his mind. The next man. <laughs> He's a mutant. What's he doing? He's a psychopath. Get him! What? Uh, what? Can he not feel it? Because if he can't feel it, that's what the other guy said when he found out he was a leper or something. Really? Yeah. Can't even see his face. That's the horrible thing. Not like you have pictures to look back on. If my son has your knights, you have your wife. No! She has to do it to protect her son, though, yeah. doesn't she? Can I take it off? <gasps> oh! What? Behold your rightful king and heir to the throne of the kingdom of Jerusalem! Yes, yes, yes. Imagine that, just like, so, kid, what do we do now? <laughs> so it's like, um, I'm pretty tired. Even though he's king, it'll be that other guy that's in charge. <laughs> There's your religion. <laughs> Do you love her? Yes. What about your other wife? Do you remember her? He just disappeared. What the f was that about? Yeah, he just ridden off. No, he would have seen it in the distance. He literally yeah. turned around for a second, Tom. What is this? Oh, the hot wax. Yeah. Doesn't feel it. Hey! <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> I can't even feel it. 
Why is she touching them though? Yeah, so I care, I guess. <gasps> is that poison? Yeah. Now she will go to him because she hasn't got a son worth protecting. Doesn't need the army. Well, that's why she's killed him then, to perhaps save Jerusalem in a way. But the, uh, her son, in terms of oh, misery. They've come to kill him. Oh! Oh! Ow. Ah! Give me a war. That is what I do. Why are they so desperate? I, Sibylla, by the grace of the Holy Spirit, choose this king. Guy de Lusignan. With the help of God, he will... He's got no choice, has he? Salah Hadin's sister. Is he gonna kill her? If he wants a war, that'd be a way to do it, wouldn't it? Oh, you gone done it now! Don't forget, this guy sucked the hand of a leper. <laughs> yeah! <gasps> the Sultan demands the return of his sister's body, the heads of those responsible, and the surrender of Jerusalem. What answer do you return to Salah Hadin? This. Assemble the army! I am oh. the king. Didn't expect that, did ya? This army cannot move away from water. You have a chance to hold the city. But if you move out against Salahadi, this army will be destroyed. And the city left defenseless. When we should meet the enemies of God. Aye! So we shall. Oh, get lost. Good luck to you, sir. <laughs> and he's just like, water schmorter. Water, what has water ever done for me? <laughs> <laughs> Look at them. <laughs> oh my god. They're knackered. Bet you don't even see that battle, do you? Yeah. You just trashed him. Oh. Still alive. I drink water for what it is. I did not give the cup to you. Oh, he killed his sister, didn't he? Oh! This guy's humbled now, isn't he? Yeah, what must he be thinking? <laughs> like... Damn. What the fuck is this? They've gone out to see where that, what happened oh, to him. Oh, damn. Look at all the birds. That's insane. That was what would happen, though. Yeah, yeah. We're Just a massive and... feast for them. Oh. I'll be with you. He's no longer with me. Who's this going? God be with you, he's no longer He's like the last one in Jerusalem now. They're here. Great. It is only one man. Don't say that, mate. <laughs> oh, God damn. Look how big what? the f***ing army is. It has fallen to us to defend Jerusalem. How are we to defend Jerusalem? Without knights. Is he going to start knighting everyone? Because he wasn't a knight. Oh yeah, he wasn't. His father just made him. Every man at arms, or capable of bearing them. Kneel! Be without fear in the face of your enemies. Safeguard the helpless. That is your oath. And that is so you remember it. Broke my nose! <laughs> Starts crying like a little boy. <laughs> And this is so you don't forget it. <laughs> <laughs> Just because gives people the, that massive confidence boost that they're now a knight, and then yeah, a little bit better until they get to battle and they're like, I didn't sign up for this. <laughs> shit. I can't hold the sword. <laughs> ah. ah, damn. What if he just died then? Yeah, that's the end of the film, man. Yeah, he's already dead. <laughs> That transition of the toy to the knight to yeah, him. To him, yeah. Force him to offer terms. We fight for the people, their safety and freedom. You can't if the the majority of them die within the days in which they see you. <laughs> but like they risk either all of them dying, if they take it over. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh, and again. Jesus, the amount of arrows in the air. Mate, the, I'll be like, this, the amount of expense on this film is just insane. Isn't it? Oh my oh god. god. Oh. He'd burn, burn the door down. He's going mental. Why is the mirror like that? Like, that's not old, old medieval mirrors were like that. They really? couldn't get 
They couldn't get glass that was perfectly. Oh. <laughs> Any moment, an arrow could just hit you in the eye. Yeah, like that. Oh. <laughs> They're, on. They're on the wall. Ah! Yeah. He's trying to get the flags down. People would lose morale and give yeah, up and exactly. retreat and stuff, wouldn't they? Yeah. Ah! Damn. He just start, and he just starts going. Yeah. Queen of Jerusalem. Oh. She didn't cut her hair off to help out. Oh. And in that period, they would have like put wrapped around a dirty bandage and just been like, it'd off be you infected go. and you'd die. Yeah. From it. Showing the exact same parallels. Yeah. Too. Yeah. Very similar. No one here is really painted out to be the bad guys. Yeah, that's good though, isn't it? Yeah. I don't think that would be the case. Yeah. If you throw down your arms, your families will die. Mid speech, they break down the wall, and he's like. Oh, oh finished. <laughs> oh, he just took the shield away. Yeah. You, you lifted that fing yeah, stone yeah, that so. Made of foam, weren't it? Yeah. It? Oh. That's just a crush, isn't it? That's what battles would have been like. Yeah. Oh, that transition. It's so that night. Everyone's dead. He's the only one alive again. Uh, I will give every soul safe conduct to Christian lands. The women, the children, the old, and all your knights and soldiers, and your queen. No one will be hurt. I swear to God. Then under these terms, I surrender Jerusalem. What? Yeah, you could have gone up to him before the battle started and just been like, terms. Exactly what they, what he just said, and was just like, okay, I have surrendered to Rusev. All will be safely escorted to the sea. It's basically a victory for them because they're not dead. <laughs> yeah. The perfect night. Is that what you think you are? Is it? This guy just needs to die. Oh, is he ch he's challenging him? <laughs> ah. Ooh. Ooh. He's not going to do it, but I want him to do it. When you rise again, if you rise, rise at night. Damn. So he's dumb out shit in the face of it. What a terrible journey. Yeah. All of these journeys would have been. This is, yeah, Blacksmith's back to where he was. You know, way back when I stabbed my brother on that fireplace and he burned <laughs> to death and he tore this place apart. We crusade to recover the kingdom of Jerusalem. We come by this road to find Balian. Who was defender of Jerusalem? I am the blacksmith, and I am the king of England. Yeah, that's Richard the Lionheart, is supposed to be. Oh, <laughs> for three years. It does. Yeah. Bam, 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 bam. What do you think of the film, first of all? Because then I want to just talk about the changes, because it is such. Yeah. A different is it? film. I liked it. I thought it was too long. Yeah. And I thought the pacing was up and down, up and down, up and down, up yeah. and down. Uh, which, to a point, I literally got into the middle of a of the film and I was literally just like zoning out. I was just like because it would grab my attention and then it would it would just f***ing lose it mm. and and, so and it were, frustrated me. There were a few it did scenes, it a couple of times. quite a few scenes that were added that seemed to like have jarring cuts. Yeah. And, I, and I feel like the first initial film was a much tighter tighter film, it's more well-paced. Had... Yeah. But the changes completely changed the storyline. Yeah, so what was so the original storyline? There are three things that are completely different. One is the opening with his brother. Yeah. Like it's not even his brother, he just kills him. Oh, okay. Um, and so the massive first chunk of the film's added in. Yeah. Um, the second one is Eva Green doesn't even have a son in the first film. Really? There's not in any scenes whatsoever. Wow. Um, which completely changes her character because you feel like in the theatrical cut she gets um, forced into it out of fear of this marriage with the other guy. But in this, it's weird. Like, does she want the power? And then she does she is she doing it to protect her son? It makes it makes her more of a three-dimensional character in this one. 
Yeah, because I could She's imagine. more there as like a love interest than just the queen that's then victimised. And the other bit is there's more of a fleshed out character of the guy you call L'Oreal. The guy who becomes king. So he doesn't have that fight at the end. The last time you see him in the yeah. actual cut is on a donkey. donkey. Yeah. Um, and that's it. But, I see. Oh, and also one more bit that's different is that burning bush scene wasn't in the fir- the theatrical cut. Yeah. And that adds a whole other layer to that guy's character of is he like there to metaphorically represent God or faith because he just or something like disappears. that. He disappears. That made an interesting dynamic of the character. For me, the best yeah. thing about the film is this debate between piety, holiness, and faith, and then religion. Yeah. Which are completely different things. And I think it does that really well. I like the cast of this film as well. Yeah. I, I, it's not, they're not like acting powerhouses, but I just, I just really like the yeah. cast. For me, the film, it has its moments, it has its epic moments. But nothing really grips me about this film. Nothing's, mm. I don't know, it's not an impactful film. For me, I'll go about my day and I don't think I'll watch this movie again. Mm. I'll be interested to watch the shorter version to see, because you said the pacing works in that. So it's actually two hours 20. Yeah. This, this is three hours 10. Yeah. I think like the relationship came across better in the theatrical of Orlando Bloom and Eva Green. That seems to develop. Better. I I bought into the uh, relationship just though, because because at first I was a bit yeah. worried that. Hang on a minute. First of all, the story was you were mourning your uh, wife yeah. and you went to Jerusalem to try and rid, get rid of your sins, but then you, I don't know. It, he did that was effective. He did achieve that because he yeah. bought into the philosophy yeah. of his father, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, yeah, and protected the people. That that's probably the strongest point of this film. I, I just love the fact that Ridley Scott has threaded that philosophy through the story. Yeah. and Orlando Bloom's decisions, his character's decisions yeah. in the film. That is the strongest point of and this it film. Actually, it's the backbone of the film. Yeah, right? and it actually comes back all the time. Like when that, when he saved that guy, when he didn't kill that guy, that came back to save yeah. him as well, didn't yeah. it? Yeah, and also um, saving the people yeah. so if I the think, king's dead. Yeah, so I think a lot of the scenes that are added tend to be quite just scenic shots where nothing much happens to advance the story. Okay. But then you do have that whole extra bit with the sun, sun which yeah. just changes it quite a bit. Yeah. I think it's just a feat of fi- filmmaking in terms of set design and and special effects. For yeah. 2005, I just think it's insane. Yeah. For me, Blade Runner is better for me. The director's cut of Blade Runner? Uh, yeah. Um, and Gladiator is just, just I far think, succeeds I think, this I think film. it's just such a massive film now. I can't There's a lot to long, digest. I, think, uh, yeah. I can't remember how long Gladiator is. And sometimes fit for a me, lot in this. The, the really good scenes are spaced out all the way through. That's why I think the pace is, it yeah. grabs my attention and then it loses yeah. it. Grabs, grabs my attention then loses it constantly and it's just a bit underwhelming. For the theatrical out more of a um, which is fast paced driving more, force like a driving force yeah. like one of those films where it, it picks up it's the a pace. journey that just yeah. happens and just carries on going right to the end yeah but I see why people like this better than the theatrical as well if they love the because if it they changes love, yeah. the story and it makes the characters more believable I guess if you love the theatrical version and you're very passionate about this film you're gonna love the uh, the director's cut because there's just more of yeah. that I yeah. guess, but for me, watching the the director's cut first, I'm able to pick up on those, you know, just treat it as a film on its yeah. own rather than comparing it to uh, to the theatrical version. You can probably hear someone really oh, going yeah. at Go it <laughs> in the garden with a lawnmower at the moment, but yeah. So I did like the film. It has its moments, like I said. The pacing was just off for me, and I feel like the. The backbone of the film is uh, the philosophy of Liam Neeson, uh, Orlando Bloom's father. I like how that was th- thread through uh, throughout the story. That gave it some consistency. I'm going to give it a 7.8. Uh, I think we differ on this film a bit because this is a film that I've watched since it came out. So yeah. I'm really nostalgic for it. Yeah, yeah. And I thought you would be. But I just love it. I think it's great. Ridley Scott is one of my favourite directors. I don't think the actors are the best performers in the world, but I just love everything from how it's shot 
the aesthetic of it to the set design and the soundtrack. I mean, even the and subject matter as the well. The subject matter as well. I just love massive sprawling films that yeah. you sit there for ages and watch. Yeah. And we've got a few more coming up. And I like the message and the debate of faith and religion. Yeah. And it's topical. So, yeah, I'm actually going to give it a 9 out of 10. There'll be people that completely disagree with yeah. me. And I'm okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> what did you guys think? Do you agree with our ratings? Has my rating been clouded by nostalgia or do you think that this director's cut is better? Do you think the director's cut the is better than the theatrical? I don't know. You know, I'm questioning it. I am questioning it. There's something about the theatrical cut that makes it a bit well-rounded, but there was something always there that was that's missing. Yeah, it's better narratively, yeah. but in terms of pacing, it suffers a little bit. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean. Yeah, that makes so sense. It's a difficult one, but yeah. yeah, let us know what you thought. What is the best Ridley Scott film? Also, if you want to watch the full-length reaction, sit here with us for three hours, then click the link in the description to our Patreon page, uh, where you will be able to watch along with us. You will need your own copy of the DVD though, so and it is a Blu-ray, so. Um, other than that, we'll see you next time. Yeah.